the use case is really dependent again on on what what runner is in front of you, what patient's in front of you. If if they're very acclimatized to treadmill and they're comfortable on a treadmill, uh, then yeah, it's convenient, it's controlled setting, it's uh, you're you're close by them, so you can you, you can even mm. chat to them while they're running and doing the assessment. Uh, you can provide them that biofeedback training uh, so that they can opt self optimize or improve, or you can give them a cue. So there's like there's definite benefits of doing it in the clinic, but then there's also definite ben benefits of doing outside. Um, you, you like you think about the white collar effect when you have blood pressure. You of, often you see people that they they see oh okay my I'm I'm getting nervous I'm getting measured so my my blood pressure goes up because the heart rate pushes it up. We oh. see that's often the case on a treadmill where someone is getting their running gait analysis done. They know that the the, the physio is watching them. The coach is watching them. They suddenly have this very upright posture and they you know, their chins up and they very kind of controlled running on running arms. But the moment the physio steps away or they start just to drift off, their focus of attention is just like, oh yeah, I'm think well, I've got to get groceries tonight or whatever. <laughs> then their gait <laughs> completely changes. They're not st they're completely relaxed um, and they kind of sink into their normal movement signature and that's when you start seeing the compensation start to pop up 